new at four this afternoon. Appleton's Common Council is at the center of a controversy because some have pushed back against an anti-Asian resolution. Now members of the Hmong community in Appleton are speaking out to Local 5's Rhonda Fox. As Appletonian and a Hmong American, it's a constant reminder that not all of us, of us have the same privileges. A pickup truck came out from nowhere, cut in front of us, have these two huge American flags flying, shouting at us, pointing finger at us. This gentleman in the car shouting, yelling, go, get out of here, go home. Wednesday, members of the Asian American Pacific Islander community recounted painful experiences of racism in Appleton in hopes of getting 6R21, an anti-Asian resolution passed. A lot of us has been told to go back to our own country, go back to where you come from, you don't belong here. A lot of these are harassments, but they hurt us in the heart uh, as human beings. Appleton Alderman Bill Siebers requested the resolution be referred back to committee. I don't think we're there today. I think there's some uh, things that can probably be looked at and changed. Members of the Hmong community say some members of the Appleton Common Council opted to change parts of the resolution that included the negative experiences of Asian American Pacific Islanders in Appleton. The Appleton's Common Council's decision to re-examine and change certain language in Resolution 6R21 is disappointing because it minimizes our Asian American narrative and experience. I can't believe that arguing the minutia of the words is more important than the stories and the emotions of the people that asked us to act on their behalf and that came to speak with us. According to the Hmong who gave testimony, they're left wondering if words in a resolution are more important than the people. They don't know what it feels like to be Asian Americans uh, or to be discriminated. Um, we cannot wait on this resolution while others are still experiencing fear and racism in the community. In Appleton, Rhonda Fox, Local 5 News. And that resolution is now scheduled to be uh, presented to the Safety and Licensing Committee sometime next week. All right. Uh,